Hey everyone, Alpha Eagle here again. I hope you're all doing well, and may God bless you all. If anyone doesn't know, I'm a comic book fan. Or I should say, I'm a classic comic book fan. I'm not into modern comics. I'm also into comic book movies. Again, more into movies before Marvel Phase 4. <laughs> and I'm also into action figures. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Hasbro's Marvel Legends Love and Thunder Wave. I'll be going from my favorite figure to the garbage figure of the wave. My favorite is just called Thor. His armor looks amazing. It's very reminiscent of some of the armors from the comics. And it's nice to see Thor wear his helmet again. From what I've heard, I'm not really looking forward to this movie. However, I want to see this armor in live action. This figure looks to be the best of the entire wave. The next one is probably Ravager Thor. The first thing that popped in my head when I first saw this figure is Jack Burton from Big Trouble in Little, in Little China. I've heard other people make this same comparison, and that's funny since Kurt Russell was Ego in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And if you look closely at the print on his shirt, I think it might be the Norse Tree of Life or the Nine Realms Tree. I like this since it seems to be right out of Norse mythology. Next is Gore. I believe this is who Christian Bale is playing in the movie. <laughs> this is a kind of boring look. He's all white, so of course he has to be the bad guy. <laughs> I wonder what they're trying to say there. I wonder what Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman would say about him. I'm just joking, of course, but not really. I heard that people say he looks like the Engineer from Alien Covenant or Zordon from the Power Rangers movie. I have to agree with them thing I don't like about this character is that he's a new character, and I would prefer to see some more classic Thor villains. You know, um, as I said before, I like the uh, classic comics more than I like the modern comics, so I'm not crazy about this figure. Next is the Bath itself, or the Build-A-Figure for those who don't know. It's Korg. I like Korg. I don't know anyone who doesn't like Korg. Now, Taika Waititi himself, that's another matter. It looks similar to the first Korg figure Hasbro released, except it has different overlays. Notice the gold ram's head on his belt. I might be wrong, but I believe rams are significant to Norse mythology and, cult and culture. I know for one thing that they, they pull their chariots. The previous Korg figure, so I kind of want this but I would have to buy some figures I don't want to get it. I might be better off getting the previous Korg figure. I think it's relatively cheap to get on the aftermarket. Big Bad Toy Store has him for a decent price. Next is Teen Groot. This looks like another reissue of the previous Teen Groot figure. Again, I'm fine with that since I didn't get the previous Teen Groot figure. And unlike the previous Korg figure, the Teen Groot figure is not cheap on the aftermarket, so I might have to get this new one. Next is Star-Lord. I have several Star-Lord figures. This one looks good, but I might just skip this one because I have so many already. And here we get to the final two. Jane Foster Thor. Notice that they call her the Mighty Thor. That suggests that she is more mighty than the actual Thor. And why is she even called Thor at all? Thor is literally Thor's name. It might, makes no sense to call her Thor. If they called her something different, I wouldn't mind as much. And why does she have blonde hair? I thought that Jane Foster had brown hair in the previous movies. If I buy this figure, which I doubt that I will, I'll probably just take its unmasked head and put it on a Moira McTaggart's body to make a regular Jane Foster. I like her better without her powers, much like Lois Lane or Steve Trevor. They don't need to have powers to make them special. Now all the female significant others have to have powers or else they think that you won't think that they are special. Notice that they wouldn't do that to Steve Trevor because he's a man and they, the left think the men are evil. 
And the garbage figure of the wave, King Valkyrie. Uh, they are not using the word king correctly. It's a word specifically for men. But the left hates correct definitions of words, and wants, then they want to change them to fit their ideology. They did the same thing with Princess Leia. In the new trilogy, they had to call her General Leia, because the left see words like queen and princess as weak because they are feminine. The left hates when women are feminine. They see the word as king, as strong, and they want to take it away from men. I've heard people say that there have been female kings wrong. If it comes from a non-English speaking country and they use the word king, they're using it incorrectly. It's a bad translation. It's more correct of a translation to say ruler or monarch. Those are sex neutral words. Anyway, would I get the figure? At one point I would have said yes since I don't have a MCU Valkyrie figure, and I'm a bit of, of a completist. But since prices are higher these days, and I don't really like the character, I'll probably be pass on this one. This has been Alpha Eagle. God bless you all for watching, and may God bless America.